Hi there, happy new year, Kamara Hashiv. Hope you're all doing well. Right, I'm going to start off this first podcast of 2024 with an apology. And I just wanted to say I'm sorry, I haven't been around really too much in 2023. I had my parents weren't very well, and basically life was just getting in the way. And uh, but <clears throat> I'm back now, but I also want a, a quick request. Um just after the Scots Trad Music Awards, somebody hacked our Hands Up For Trad Facebook page and ads account and they deleted our ancient page full of 16,000 people that we market to. So uh, my question to you guys is, do you, are you do you, are you somebody who can get answers at Facebook? Uh, I'm not one of them. <laughs> um, I'm trying to get them to restore the page. Uh, people were trying to take money off our account and everything. It was not the best Christmas present I could imagine. Anyway, if you can, uh, please go and find out about Hands Up For Trad Facebook page for us. And we are, I very much appreciate it. But enough of that. This is the Album of the Year podcast that should have come out in December. And we had a great MG Alapa Scots Trad Music Awards. And the winner of Album of the Year was Duncan Chisholm. His album Black Coolin. And we're going to start off with a track called On the Winds of Chaos Born. was the Scots Trad Music Awards Album of the Year, Black Cullen by Duncan Chisholm. And Duncan actually performed at the MG Alapa Scots Trad Music Awards as well, and he was fantastic. And for listeners in the UK, um, the highlight show from the Trad Awards is still on the iPlayer for another two or three weeks, the BBC iPlayer, that is. Um, so if you get a chance, please check it out. Um, so, yeah, great. It was a brilliant night anyway. So next up, now all these albums we're going to be playing are in, in, in no actual order, actually. The order I thought that might fit together. So next up, we're going to have the very popular Scary Vore from their album Tempest. And this is called Everything You Need. Thunder 
you need um, their album's called Tempest now if you want to find out more about all these releases you can go to scottpodcast.com and there's links to everything and all the other previous podcasts and thanks to everyone who carries on listening even if we're not broadcasting it's really appreciated next up we have the album Dialogues by Sue Lee and a very popular album and uh, she's currently got well, a nearly sold out show in the up and coming Celtic Connections festivals in Glasgow this January 2024 which is really exciting and this track is called Stroma and it features the pianist James Ross
Beautiful cello playing there by Sue Lee from her album Dialogues, and that was Strama featuring James Ross. Now, next up is Imar, the, was it their third album they released last year. Oh, I can never remember. Anyway, it's called Awakening, it's another great album, and this track is called Bangers. <laughs>
ta- Bangers from Awakening by Imar. Right, next up we have the Braybacks latest album. It's called FAS. And if you didn't know, it's F-A with a sort of grav over the S. And that in Gaelic uh, translates as grow. There you go. <laughs> I am still on my Gaelic learning. Lots of it. Anyway, and this track is called Ether and Da Vrai. from their album Fass and the track Eater and Davrai. Okay, next up we have Rura and their album Dusk Moon and this is Think of Today.
That, oh, excuse me. That was Dia, D-I-A-D. I'm never sure if it's a word or not, by Tim Eady and Ross Ainsley. And that track was called Lunny. And you know how nowadays with streaming, you never get to find out anything about the tracks. Well, I am wondering if that's something to do with Donald Lunny <clears throat> of the Planksty and uh, the Bothy Band. Who I don't know if you've seen that, actually. The Bothy Band have been doing a few gigs recently. They're actually playing at... Uh, Celtic Connections in January as well and hopefully I'm going to make it along to see that as I never saw them live the first time. Anyway, before that you heard Dusk Moon by Rura and you're listening to the Album of the Year podcast as the MG Alapa Scott's Trad Music Awards. Right, um, I was just thinking, what's going on this month? Is anything interesting? Yes, um, Hans Ever tried to have Battle of the Folk Bands at Celtic Connections Festival which is uh, really exciting. Uh, that's on the 20th. I have a gig as well with Dave Milligan, which is equally exciting, if not even more so, on the Friday the 2nd of February in Glasgow, and I'd love to see anyone there who wants to come. Um, and and the big thing that we've been doing for 24 years now is the BBC Radio Scotland Young Traditional Musician Award. And there's six great young musicians performing on the 4th which and that will be live on BBC Radio Scotland worldwide and if you're in the UK you'll be able to watch it from 5pm on the 4th of February on BBC Alapa. Right on with the podcast this is the Pete Bog Fairies and they released their album I See a World and this track is slightly different for them actually usually they're just making a lot of bangers which are fantastic tunes but this is a song called The Sister of Moses. <laughs> Thank you. 
smell from the weeds like a boat that's been sunk. She calls out our names and whistles our tunes. She's gone by the morning, lost in our fumes. I call to myself to wake myself up, but I can't see. What a beautiful arrangement, what lovely chords and everything in the, the sax, the horn parts were just absolutely beautiful. That's great actually, that was the sister of Moses from the Pete Bug Fairies' uh, latest album, I See a World. Right, next up, our, our, our second last album, uh, this is number, this must be number eight, no this must be number nine. <laughs> this is December Well by Decade. And this is by Mike Vass, and it's called Prisms on the Dark Sea. And this is the second track that I was going to play, because the first one I chose, it featured the fabulous singing of uh, Kathleen McInnes, the fabulous uh, Gaelic singer. And uh, it turns out she was singing Silent Night, and I just thought maybe we can leave that till next December. So as I say, this is Prisms on a Dark Sea.
That was Prisms on the Dark Sea by Mike Vass from his December Well by Decade album. Right, we've reached number 10 and this is Lauren McCall's Har album. That's H-A-A-R. And uh, we're going to play the title track from the album. But thank you very much for listening. <coughs> it's great to be back. We will definitely be back in February. And... Uh, uh, you can follow us, uh, Hands Up For Trad, on uh, social media, uh, Everson uh, forward slash Hands Up For Trad. And if you happen to work for Facebook, please get in touch with them. Uh, we would really appreciate it. Um, so, well, let's just hear from Lauren. Thanks again, and I'll see you the next time. <laughs>